Triage in obstetric units has traditionally been done on a first-come, first-served basis. One of the problems with this approach is that it does not efficiently identify those women who need urgent or immediate care. A systematic approach to triage using an acuity scale has been shown to improve the efficiency of triage and facilitate communication among members of the healthcare team. A1 defines triage as the brief, thorough, and systematic maternal and fetal assessment performed when a pregnant woman presents for care to determine priority for full evaluation. Obstetric triage is performed by registered nurses. A1 has developed the Maternal Fetal Triage Index, or MFTI, as a tool that will provide a standardized approach to obstetric triage. The MFTI is a process for determining a pregnant woman's urgency for evaluation and treatment based on a brief assessment that leads to appropriate prioritization and care. The primary goal of implementing the MFTI is to improve care of pregnant women. The MFTI is a five-level system that includes a series of questions and assessments intended to determine the priority level of the woman and her fetus. Assessments for each level include maternal vital signs, fetal heart rate, presenting maternal condition, status of labor, fetal movement, and prenatal, obstetrical, medical, and surgical histories. Priority levels of the tool are STAT Priority 1 and may include maternal hemorrhage or prolapsed cord. Urgent Priority 2 and may include situations such as high blood pressure, severe pain, or decreased fetal movement. Prompt Priority 3 and may include situations such as signs of active labor greater than or equal to 34 weeks. Non-urgent Priority 4, and may include situations such as common discomforts of pregnancy. Scheduled Procedure, Requesting a Service, Priority 5, and may include situations such as a woman scheduled for a planned, elective, repeat cesarean. Let's look at an example of how the MFTI can be applied. Two women present to your OB unit. The first woman is 38 weeks gestation and rates her constant upper abdominal pain as a 7 on a 10-point scale. She denies feeling contractions. Her heart rate is 124 beats per minute and blood pressure is 144 over 82. The fetal heart rate is 118 beats per minute. The second woman is 35 weeks gestation and reports leaking clear fluid vaginally that began one hour ago. She denies feeling contractions and her vital signs and the fetal heart rate are within normal limits. Using the MFTI to prioritize these two women's urgency for provider evaluation, the first woman is a priority two, urgent, because she rates her abdominal pain as a seven on a 10-point scale. The second woman is a priority three, prompt, because she is 35 weeks gestation and reports leaking clear fluid. The first woman should be seen first by a provider. Other questions used to determine priority level can include, does the woman or fetus require immediate life-saving intervention? If answered yes, this puts them at a STAT priority one, where intervention is required to address problems such as hemorrhaging, signs of placental abruption, or a prolapsed cord. To obtain the A1 MFTI in its entirety, go to www.a1.org. A1 has done extensive research to develop the MFTI. You can read more about the research in Joggin'.